talk about The Victim's Club, the book that I just finished reading. Do a quick book review here for you. Book by Jeffrey Deaver. It's a quick, short read. While we head back into the studio, I'll tell you about it. I read it this morning, and it was actually a, it was a good book. I enjoyed it. It wasn't like the last uh, book that I read by Jeffrey Deaver that kind of left me hanging at the end. This one had a good, I thought it had a good conclusion to it. So basically it's about a cop who picks up a case. One of his colleagues has to go out of town. So he picks up her case and he's trying to figure out a, kind of like a digital cyber crime. He's trying to chase down the leads. The guy used to burn her cell phone. So they have to find out, you know, where it came from and they managed to track down people who who uh, who were involved but the school is trying to prevent them from figuring out who it was and so that causes a bit of a complication because they try to get him fired from doing his job let me just grab some water here real quick before we head on back there to the studio. And so they try to get him fired. Everybody's hush hush. Nobody wants to talk about it. And so this girl who was the victim goes to a, she says something interesting that has to do with the fact that nobody wants to be a victim. Nobody chooses to be a victim. And yet the guy who's like, the vigilante who's behind everything that happens actually um, creates what is known as the Victim's Club. Now, I don't want to give it away, give away too many spoilers, so I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it is interesting. So the audiobook is like 90 minutes long. I usually listen to my audiobooks at two times speed just because I like getting through the stories faster and because, you know, usually people narrate audiobooks and they talk very slow and clearly and I don't have the patience for that. So I usually watch videos and listen to audiobooks at two times speed just to get through stuff faster, which is a nice hack, productivity hack. You can learn more, read more, do more, better, faster, smarter, right? Uh, so they say, I don't know if that's true, but anyway, so for me listening to it at two times speed, it took me about 15 minutes, I'm going to say, because I went on a 30 minute jog while listening to it. And I think after I got back, it took me about another 15, 20 minutes to finish it. So like in one morning, I had listened to the whole audio book, which was nice because you get a complete story. There were a few loose ends kind of in the story. There was one major string that kind of got left open, but the police threatened to close it off later. So it was pretty conclusive. It was good. Good for a short story. And I enjoyed it. Who would I recommend? Read the story if you like police kind of crime, um, like police, uh, what do they call it? Procedurals where he's going through trying to figure out how the criminal, who the criminal is, how the crime was committed, how the, the criminals got away with it, and bypassing all the bureaucracy of people who were trying to prevent him from getting to the bottom of the information. So it was a good story, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would rate this like probably four, four and a half stars out of five, and um, especially if you're an English student, because it has the audio, it's nice. You can follow my integrated learning system, you know, where you study the text and use the audio. So through the text, you can learn the vocabulary, see the words, how they're written, practice your spelling, practice your writing. You can see how the words are put together in the grammar structure. And also, you use the audio to practice your pronunciation. You can practice, do various exercises to practice your speaking skills, talk about it with other people. So yeah, you can practice pretty much all, develop all major primary skills and sub-skills to develop your English fluency by 
um, using these audio books and uh, Kindle Unlimited books. So yeah, it's in Kindle Unlimited. You can download the book and get the audio included free. Remember, books with narration or read and listen for free in Kindle Unlimited will get you the audio book included for free as well. So great read. Take a look at it. Enjoy it. If you're an English student, you see words you don't know, you have questions. Let me know. Be happy to help you out. Leave a comment below and let me know if you've read it also. Tell me what you thought of it. And uh, I'll let you know what I'm going to read next. Stay tuned. Keep an eye on my stories. And I'll let you know the book that I'm reading right now is called Cyberstorm, if I'm not mistaken. I started that like a week ago. I've been working through that slowly. So you can follow along with me there. I've also been reading Pushing Brilliance, which is good. I don't have the audiobook for it, but I have been reading it, and that's pretty interesting. And I'll probably choose something else here in the next day or so to start reading as well, something shorter that I can get through faster while I'm going through these longer stories. All right, so y'all have a good day. I am going to do some, uh, record an English class here. So if you are learning English, stay tuned. Got that video coming up here soon. Bye-bye.